Hi, welcome to Modeling and Simulation of Dynamical Systems at Czech Technical University in Prague. In this video, I would like to finalize our recapitulation of basic formats of mathematical models. We had models of uh, order 1, 2 and n, so perhaps it's high time to start talking about systems of order infinity. In fact, this is not how these uh, models are referred to in engineering literature. Instead, we will refer to them as distributed parameter systems or also spatially distributed systems. These, are, these systems are modeled by partial differential equations, a prominent exam example of uh, which in the electrical engineering domain is a transmission line. Here we consider two sufficiently long and sufficiently close cables that are used to connect the generator and load or a transmitter and a receiver. Now, even if we disregard the uh, losses in the two cables, still the line exhibits some dynamics, which then means that when talking about voltage and current voltage across the two cables, you need to specify where where uh, along the coordinate axis x you want to consider such voltage. In other words, the voltage needs to be parameterized not only just by time, but also by the position, and similar, similarly for the current. So, now having voltage and current uh, function of two variables, we now go for a partial differential equation instead of just an ordinary one. And you see now the first one, we have a partial differential, partial derivative with respect to x on the left and partial derivatives with respect to t. Of course, there's no point in deriving the equation in this video. I'm only including it here to show how such a model looks like. In fact, the mathematics behind partial differential equations is very rich and complicated, uh, and we will not do it in this course. However, later in this course we will uh, attack, we will approach systems uh, that are spatially distributed in one particular way. We will cut the domain into chunks like this and we will model each chunk using some finite dimensional approximation. In this particular case each chunk or section will be modeled as this interconnection of an inductance, capacitance and two resistances. The higher the number of sections the more accurate such approximation is. That's why I originally proposed to call these infinite order or infinite dimensional models.